Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with a Smasher Pass, this time uh, for Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Um, we will be specifically counting the characters as they are shown in Scott Pilgrim Takes Off, not any other variation of the material. Um... And as always, we have our categories. We have Smash Pass and Knives Chow, which is Literal Child. Because um, Knives is, I think, the only underage character in the series. Um, everyone else is either a young adult or a little bit older. Um, but speaking of older, we start with even older, Scott. Um, I'm going to say Pass because Toxic. Like, that's kind of the point of the character and everything. Um, like, part of this is going to be based on looks, but I, I will probably take uh, a lot of personality stuff into account as well. Um, so pass on even older Scott. As for Gordon Goose, a.k.a. Gideon Graves, um, that's going to be a pass as well, but I'll put him above old, even older Scott. Um, Holly, I think is her name, uh, the one who works at the video store with Kim. Um, I'd say Smash. Not the highest Smash, because, let's be honest, she's not too much of a character. <laughs> like, she's very minor, all things considered. Um, but she's still, you know, got a certain attractiveness. Uh, Julie is definitely a Smash. Um, Julie is one of those characters that just has a certain appeal that you can't entirely describe um it's just, it's just something about her assertiveness i guess is what it makes her appealing uh kim goes above her though uh kim like she was just always going to be there she was my favorite character in uh the movie the live action movie and i really loved her in takes off as well uh, Knives goes down in the Knives category because she is a sweet baby angel and she is underage. Um, next we have the Katayanagi twins. And I, I put them both in Smash, honestly. Um, I can never remember which is which, uh, which one's Kyle and which one's Ken, so I'm just putting them like that. The, the blonde one. <laughs> Let's go with that one. Um... I'm going to say pass to you, and I'm going to put you under Gideon. Um, just not for me. Not for me. Uh, Matthew, Matthew, I'm going to put under Julie in Smash. Like, he, he can definitely get it. Um, the theater kid aspect of him also definitely appeals to me a bit. Um, older Scott, um, better than even older Scott for obvious reasons. Um, but still toxic, still just not for me. Uh, Ramona's an obvious easy one. Uh, I'm gonna put her under Kim, though, personally. Um, I, I just, I think Kim's, uh, better. <laughs> uh, Robot? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, let's be honest. With as skilled as the Karyanagi twins are in robotics and stuff, you absolutely know they can make that work. Um, let's, and let's be even more honest, there will be a point in the future where robots will be absolutely fuckable. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put under the Karyanagi twins, though. Uh, Roxy's number one. Like, Roxy's number one. Let's be honest here. Um, it's Roxy. She's just very hot, very funny. Definitely my type. Uh, young, youngest Scott, normal Scott, whatever the fuck you want to call him, 23-year-old Scott. Um, I'm going to say he's he's going to be low here. He's going to be under the Katayanagi twins. But he, he'd still go and smash. Uh, Envy Adams is a pass for me, but she's going to go to the top of the pass list. It, and, and this one's not even as much her personality. It's just like, she's just not my type. Like, at all. <laughs> um, Stacy also a pass. Like, just doesn't do really anything for me. I'll put her above Envy, though. 
Uh, Steven, Steven can get it. Steven is a smash. I'll put him just above the Katayanagi twins. Um, and Todd... Todd will go just below them. Wallace is gay. <laughs> um, and honestly, I'm, I, I have no interest in him anyway, so... I guess right here. Uh, I'll put him under, just because, you know, gay. <laughs> And young Neil, very much not it, it, attracted to pretty much at all. And it's nothing against him. I like the character. Um, I'm just not attracted to him. Um, I'll put him right there. No, I'll put, I'll put him under Gordon. Uh, and so there you have it. I know it's a very short list this time. There's really not many characters to this series. But that is my Smasher Pass for uh, Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. And not really any big surprises, I feel. Um, I do these, like, literally on the fly. I don't really think about these beforehand. Um, but I'm sure there's not really any big surprises here that, like, caught me off guard. I, I don't know if there's any that would catch you off guard. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty much what you would expect, I feel. Or at least what I expected. <laughs> uh, but tell me in the comments below, uh, who are the most, which of the, uh, characters in Scott Pilgrim Takes Off do you think is the most smashable? Who do you think is the most passable? Not including knives, because we just don't count knives, because underage. Uh, but tell me your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry for the lighting, by the way, it's just dark out, overcast, snowy, and all of that jazz. And I didn't want to plug in my, uh, ring light for this short of a video. Um, but either way, like I said, let me know your thoughts, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.